Today, we're going to discuss Ukraine, which is a really important topic. Most likely, you've heard that General Mark Milley predicted that Ukraine will collapse within 72 hours. Is that actually the case yet? Let's explore the current geopolitical environment and the elements that can have an impact on the stability of Ukraine. It's critical to examine the nuances of the situation and assess the veracity of General Milley's remark as tensions between Ukraine and its neighboring country, Russia, rise. We must look more thoroughly at the potential repercussions and viable solutions to this sensitive situation as the world closely monitors this developing crisis, and it becomes clear that Ukraine's future is in the balance. First of all, who is General Mark Milley and why does his statement hold so much weight? Well, the 20th Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff and top military official in the U.S. is General Mark Milley. He has held a number of command and staff positions throughout his career as a four-star general in the U.S. Army. Milley is a graduate of West Point's United States Military Academy and Princeton University. Because of his standing as a military leader, both the public and decision-makers frequently take his words seriously. General Milley predicted that Russian soldiers would occupy Ukraine within 72 hours in early March 2023. His evaluation of the Russian military's strength and the Ukrainian military's deficiencies served as the foundation for his remark. It's crucial to remember that General Milley's remarks came before the Ukrainian military put up a fierce fight. Since then, the situation in Ukraine may have evolved, making it less likely that Russia will achieve its goals. The possibility exists, nevertheless, that Russian forces will eventually overpower the Ukrainian military. What will transpire in Ukraine cannot be predicted in advance. Before we get into the nitty-gritty, let's talk a bit about the history of the conflict in Ukraine. The history of the conflict in Ukraine is protracted and convoluted. It dates back to 1991, the year Ukraine attained independence from the Soviet Union, when the Soviet Union fell apart. Since then, the nation has had a hard time defining both its identity and its position in the globe. Viktor Yanukovych's pro-Russian administration in Ukraine was overthrown in 2014 as a result of a public revolt. Due of this, Russia invaded Crimea and eventually annexed the peninsula. Additionally, Russia supported pro-Russian separatists in the Donetsk and Luhansk regions of eastern Ukraine, where a war has been raging ever since. Both the nation and the region have been significantly impacted by the situation in Ukraine. Numerous people have been killed, destroyed, and displaced as a result. Additionally, it has strained ties between the West and Russia. There are no simple answers to the complex problem of the Ukrainian conflict. It is a proxy conflict between Russia and the West that is fueled by a variety of reasons, such as politics, economics, and history. It is uncertain how the issue will be resolved and it is likely to last for some time. However, it's critical to keep in mind that the majority of pain is being experienced by Ukrainians. They are the ones who are getting hurt, dying, and moving around. They are the ones who are being forced to leave their homes and their jobs. So where are we now? Well, in Ukraine, things are tense and uncertain. There are worries that Russia may attack Ukraine at any time because it has gathered over 100,000 troops on its border. Although Russia has been forewarned by the United States and its allies of dire repercussions should it attack Ukraine, it is uncertain whether Russia will be deterred. The Ukrainian government has demanded military support from its allies and accused Russia of preparing an invasion. Although the United States and its allies have given Ukraine military assistance, they have not yet given Ukraine the equipment it has asked for, like fighter jets and tanks. For Europe, the situation in Ukraine represents a serious security problem. Due to Russia's actions, there have been calls for NATO to increase its presence in Eastern Europe and fears about the future of European security. Ukraine's position is unstable and unpredictable. A diplomatic solution to the problem is conceivable, but a Russian invasion of Ukraine is also a possibility. It is unknown how long the fight would last or how it would finish if Russia invades Ukraine. The resolution of the Ukrainian conflict will have a significant effect on the futures of Russia, Europe, and Ukraine. The moment is now for the entire world to band together and try to find a peaceful solution to the situation. Now, back to Milley's prediction. Is it really possible that Ukraine could fall within 72 hours? It's not impossible, by any stretch of the imagination. Russia's military is enormous, and it could easily defeat Ukraine's weaker, less prepared soldiers. Ukraine's standing has also been undermined by its ongoing internal political and economic problems. 
On the other side, the United States and other Western countries have vowed to support Ukraine in its defense against Russian aggression. Milley's statement is just that, a prediction, and this must be kept in mind. Although it is based on the most up-to-date intelligence, its accuracy cannot be ensured. It's possible that Russia won't invade or that the invasion won't be as successful as Milley expects because the situation in Ukraine is unstable. The might of the Ukrainian military, the will of the Ukrainian people, and the reaction of the international community will all play a role in how Ukraine turns out in the end. Although it is too soon to predict with certainty what will happen, the situation is undoubtedly tense, and there is a genuine threat of war. The question of whether Ukraine may fall within 72 hours has a difficult response due to the complexity of the situation there. However, it is obvious that things are tense, and that there is a genuine threat of conflict. So what could happen in the next 72 hours? It's anyone's guess. There are many different factors at play, and the situation is extremely fluid. Russia might try to coerce Ukraine into making concessions by launching a full-scale invasion or by continuing to play the brink. Diplomatic measures might potentially be able to defuse the situation and stop it from getting worse. The fate of Ukraine hangs in the balance during these crucial hours, as the entire world waits with bated breath. The main player's actions and the decisions made behind closed doors will determine how things turn out. Undoubtedly, Russia will come under diplomatic pressure from the world community, led by the United States and other Western countries, to defuse the situation and respect Ukraine's sovereignty. While doing so, Ukraine's leaders must negotiate this perilous terrain while weighing their options and looking for the greatest result for their nation. The stakes for Ukraine and its citizens are at an all-time high in the face of this uncertainty. The course that this crisis takes over the following 72 hours will be determined by those events. Will diplomatic efforts succeed and open the door to a peaceful resolution? Will the war drums continue to beat louder, stirring up more unrest in the area? Only time will tell, so the international community must continue to be proactive and watchful in its efforts to guarantee Ukraine's stability and security. In conclusion, it is undoubtedly concerning that General Mark Milley predicted that Ukraine will collapse within 72 hours. It's crucial to keep in mind that this is only a prediction and that there is no guarantee as to how the dispute will turn out. Recognizing the complexity of the dynamics at play while taking a careful approach is necessary given how volatile geopolitical events may be. Although the situation in Ukraine is still fragile, it is critical to avoid panicking and instead concentrate on positive actions that can help to bring about a more peaceful outcome. Thank you for watching, and let's all keep working towards a world where disagreements are settled amicably and collaboration rules. In the following video, we'll continue navigating the ever-changing world of international relations.